Just swap it with maple syrup. The duck will never know. So lately we've been getting to thinking we need a digital dashboard, something that'll tell us what's going on, what we need to pay attention to, and what we really need to pay attention to. So we've looked around at a bunch of different projects out there, and we've come across one for, you guessed it, the Raspberry Pi. Is there anything it can't do? This module is called the Magic Mirror module, and it does a ton of stuff. Originally it was designed as a smart mirror project where you would have your morning mirror and have the weather and maybe some upcoming appointments and things like that. We don't need to see ourselves, we just need to see the important information. So we're just going to use a monitor, a Raspberry Pi, and tweak some of the modules a little bit to pull dynamically all the information we need. Let's see what we can figure out with this ball of junk. What we're starting with for this project is just the standard Raspbian desktop uh, installation. Magic Mirror is a node module, so we're going to be able to install that uh, via an SSH command line. So we should be getting just the straight up Raspbian desktop here. I'm going to SSH into it and we're going to run all of the uh, install commands and uh, tweaking the configuration remotely via SSH and code server, which we're going to also install. So we're going to SSH. Let's go find our module. So this can be found at magicmirror.builders. It's an Electron NPM build. Let's go get our script to install code server. Cause we're gonna do a lot of stuff through code server. So we want, copy that, go here, paste that. Away we go. Okay, uh, NPM is not installed. Oh, because we need to update our version of node. So slight detour, we're going to update node first. I had this Hinkley suspicion that we would need to do this. Uh, so it's better that we do this now before we install Magic Mirror. Okay, current LTS is 14. So that's what we're going to go to. So we're going to go back here. We're going to do that. We're going to curl that sucker. This should get us the most recent Node.js 14 repo and then we can upgrade to 14 and then everything will work just nicely. For inquiring minds, what you're looking for when you're uh, going to update your version of Node that's installed via apt on any Linux based uh, installation. I always forget where I put this script so I end up Google fooing it. So what you're looking for is something that starts with curl-sl and you've got your node source set up and then you've got your ver major version uh, number in there. When you run that command on a Linux-based install, it will update to whatever major revision you tell it um, to grab. And then apt-get install node.js will get you the current updated version. This is what's gonna let us run node and NPM version 14 on our Pi, whereas it ships with version 10. At this point, now having done that, now we should be able to go back through our commands, find the code server command, we'll run that again. And now we can actually install code server on ARM, I believe by NPM install code server. Fetching packages, oh, 1,281 packages. Well, that seems like a break. Okay, it's working. Future Jeremy, well, next time you need to install this on a Raspberry Pi, you need to remember update Node.js, update NPM, install globally with npm code server and pass in the unsafe perm permissions flag it will take forever but it'll work code server will be up and running now it's time to get back and get uh, installing magic mirror so we're going to clone the repository and then install it by the way if you're looking for those instructions to update node to the current lts version uh they're right there in the magic mirror installation instructions then what we have to do clone the repository okay let's grab this get hey get clone that okay copy over to here paste that cloning into magic mirror okay we're gonna go into the magic mirror directory and this is a node project so npm install wait for that to finish installing so the next thing we're gonna need to do we're going to need to copy our config. So let's get that already. Uh, copy that. Go back over here. Copy the config. Now we've got a config file. And then we say npm run start. And did the display go to sleep? Common issues. Program won't start. Blah, blah. Display screen is black. 
we might need to install vendor packages. Okay, there we go. Okay, and let's try starting it up again. Okay, so that, okay. Now we've got, uh-huh. There we go. We've got weather forecast loading. We've got holidays showing up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go, uh, we want to start up code server. So let's connect to it again. We're gonna say start, whoops, code server. We want this running on PM2 so that PM2 is a node package manager that will run it. Uh, we'll make sure that it's always running. Let's go open up that config. So we're gonna open up a folder. That's the folder we're gonna open. So we can take a look at all of the code now within our magic mirror. And uh, if we look in the config, here's our config. Uh, file, scroll down to where we see the modules, and this is where we can um, move stuff around, we can throw modules into different areas of the screen, we can load uh, contributed modules. Let's go take a look at the contributed modules and load one of them quick. They have a lot of modules. Just out of curiosity, if we wanted to do something like, if we wanted to find what the price of Bitcoin is, uh, display Bitcoin ticker price. Okay, that sounds cool. Scroll down to the GitHub page. Here's the module information that we're going to add. So let's copy that. Paste. So you can see how we just uh, add the item to the JSON uh, object. We need to clone that into our modules folder. Uh, we'll go into our modules folder inside Magic Mirror and we'll go git clone the repository, away we go. We've made the changes to our config file already, so when it launches, we should now have a Bitcoin ticker in the top right. And there we have, foo is at 44,260 and 58 cents. Here you can see in the modules, you've got some config stuff. Show before, that's where our foo's coming from. So if we say Bitcoin price. Okay, so we made some changes there. Uh, let's go back here and relaunch. Big black screen. Okay, what did I break? I didn't break anything. It just went to sleep. To recap, we we quickly installed a uh, code server on the Raspberry Pi so that we could remotely uh, tweak the config files on the Magic Mirror installation. We cloned the Magic Mirror repo, uh, initialized it, and um, got it running so we've got a display for our dashboard now uh, all that's left to do is go and find the right modules to pull down the information we're looking for and or maybe code our own uh, which is super easy now that we've got code server installed um, cloning down into the right uh, directories and adjusting the configs uh, is a piece of cake and we can uh, do it pretty much live okay that's step one let's see what step two brings us next week bye for now Magic Mirror is a node module, so we're going to... Oh lord, too many tangly wires! Eventually it works. Eventually you get where you need to go. We still have a problem.